Hey friends, it's great to see you back. And today, we're joined by one of my little tiny miniature shoes. My grandmother collected miniature shoes when I was a child and I've just kind of continued the tradition. When I was a little girl, I was somehow convinced that this is what Cinderella's magic shoes look like that she wore to the ball because they've got golden toes and flowers and uh, although they are very fragile. And every time I see this little shoe sitting on my curio shelf, I think about that story and all the meanings that are there kind of hidden in that little tale. One thing that's certainly true about Cinderella is that she had trust. She had unshakable trust that things were going to work out okay. She didn't quite know how or when or where or why, but she just had this trust that things were going to unfold and things were going to get better. And that little glass shoe is kind of a symbol of that. Well, you and I don't have any glass shoes, at least not that we can wear on our feet. But we can be reminded to stay in that state of trust, stay in that state of believing that things are unfolding and especially if we're in a rough or difficult time things will improve hey little shoe i'm gonna put you down for a second okay so everyone can see my hands for this mudra okay yeah so we're gonna put the little shoe right there this mudra that can help us in times when we need to boost our sense of faith and trust is vajrapadama to do it you just take your hands in front of you and you interlace your fingers with your palms pointing toward your body. Your thumbs are extended. This mudra is sometimes done out front of the body like I'm holding it now, but you can do this mudra in ways that are a little bit more discreet. For example, let's say you're sitting in class listening to a lecture. You can hold this mudra next to your body. It can even be placed in your lap. To this mudra, I like to add five, five, five breathing, inhaling through the nose to a count of five, holding it for a count of five, and exhaling through the lips to a count of five. Let's try it, shall we? And Yes, and you could do this mudra and this breathing just as frequently as you would like and as many repetitions as you would like. So I hope sometime, if you need to bolster your faith and your belief in better outcomes. You remember this mudra and this breathing and that will help. Well, little glass shoe, thank you for joining us today. You know, it's time to wave goodbye to our friends at home. Yeah? Want to wave? Yeah? Friends, the glass flipper and I hope you have a great rest of the day and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.